Morning everybody. Lovely sunny morning here in County Armagh in Ireland. Uh, this is a Gardner 6LXB engine and this is a typical piston out of it. Our objective this morning is just to take you through this piston on the Conrod and point out to you some of the perhaps unique features of it. Uh, the Conrod itself is drop forward steel. It's extremely strong. They very, very seldom ever break. If they do, it's for some untoward reason. In the centre of the conrod here, this, this area here is called the big end. And here at the upper part of the big end, there's a hole. And the oil from the crankshaft travels right up through the conrod. The conrod is hollow inside, out through a small hole in here in the bush, and out into the piston. So the whole thing is, roti is rotating in oil all the time. The piston is travelling up and down here with the motion of the crankshaft inside the engine and all or most um, internal combustion the engines have that mechanism. Now some of the things that are perhaps unique to Gardner is and typical of their build quality is the bolts here but the bolts are actually individually numbered and whenever we're rebuilding these engines we have to make sure that we put the bolts back in again in the same way according to their numbers. The conrod itself is also numbered. This enables us to put the conrods back into the engine in the sequence that they came out. And whenever we're tightening these nuts here, we have to tighten them in uh, a very particular uh, order to make sure that the tension on the shell is, is perfect. Uh, this is an example of the shells here. They clip inside those uh, inside the the uh, big end here. Uh, the shells are coated with a special lead copper coating which <coughs> lasts a long time under a lot of stress. Uh, they are a very precise fit in here in the end, in the big end. And they bring about really quite an effective seal around the journal on the, uh, on the crankshaft. And that determines the whole health of the engine. If these are a loose fit in the big end, then you'll have very little oil pressure inside the engine and that's a formula for disaster. But they're very, very high quality and generally speaking, if they're fitted properly and everything's done on the conditions of uh, extreme cleanliness, then they'll last for a very long time. They're really wonderful. Um, what else can I point out to you? Uh, the rings, you can see here there are two compression rings, which again are a very precise fit in those grooves in the piston, and an oil scraper ring. This oil scraper ring here scrapes the lubricating oil back down off the inside of the bore on the engine. Uh, the rings have to be a very, very precise fit in the grooves, and that's how you measure the wear on the piston, is by the slap or slackness in this groove here. These here, these are brand new pistons and brand new, brand new uh, rings. And we have to use a special compression tool to push these rings in whenever we're mounting the piston in the block. And we'll show that perhaps on another day. The gudgeon pin, this is known as the gudgeon pin here, again is a precise fit in the small end of the conrod down here. And the small end has a brass bush inside it, which reduces the friction here and provides for very good uh, lubrication, even without oil. And again, they last for a very long time. Uh, on the top of the piston, you'll see, I'm not too sure if the camera will pick this up, but there's several marks here, giving us the, the part number of the piston and so on. But also most important here is mark the poppet side. Okay, so the engine, whenever the engine is located, wherever the piston is located inside the block, it has to be done in such a way that the tappet side is fitted to this side because that means that <coughs> the number here on the conrod here is facing towards the flywheel. This is most important. The reason why it's most important is, believe it or not, the gudgeon pin is not in the center of the piston. Now, there are, there's a theoretical reason for that which escapes me at the minute. So that's why it's most important that the piston goes in that way rather than that way. If you put them in the wrong way, there'll be uh, quite a knock off the engine. It will not be a success. Um, the piston, the gudgeon pin is held in place by this circlet here. 
Again, gives very, very little bother. Inside the piston down at the bottom, you, again, the, the camera won't pick this up, but there are fins which help dissipate the heat away from this area here. This volume here is known as the, com the um, combustion chamber. That's the, essentially where the, where the diesel flame burns there at that point and pushes the piston down. I think that's all I've got for you on Christmas. We'll pass on now on a separate video to the fitting of the crankshaft. Thank you so much.